camera bag has some nice utilities in addition to its regular adjustments that a lot of photographers will find handy. Uh, for example, the watermark adjustment here, I click on that. Uh, what it allows me to do, I can click here to choose an uh, image file. Um, I've created one right here. Um, so I created this previously. You can make it in Photoshop or Affinity or uh, some other image editor that, that allows you to do text and all of that. Um, what I can do is I can adjust sort of the scale. Uh, this is scale relative to the image size. Now what I'm going to do now that I've done this, um, I'm going to use batch processing. So I'm going to hit Command B to do batch processing. And I, I choose a folder that has several images that I want to apply this watermark to. And so I've got uh, these three images in this folder called batch source. And then I get to choose a, a post fix that I want um, all of the files that are saved. So let's call them watermarked. Um, and then I choose a folder for it to save to. I choose that. And then what it's going to do is it's going to apply this, and this works either with a filter or with whatever you've got down here. So it's applied that watermark to all of those images. So if I go over to uh, the, the batch destination folder where it saved those out and I just preview these, you can see that now it's got that watermark applied to each of the images in this folder. That's uh, one of the handy things you can do with batch processing. You can also, if you've got a bunch of photos that you want to apply the same filter to, uh, or resize altogether or whatever, you can do all that with camera bags uh, batch processing.